so we have successfully disconnected on click. But we still have to disconnect the counter from the state. And we will do that to introduce selectors to our app. Selectors are used in Redux to select a certain portion of the state and exposes to the outside. And it is just a function that takes a state and returns a portion of the state. In our example, the counter is the state itself, so we will just return state. And we will call it select counter. So we can use this selector to select the counter from the state. And it doesn't matter how it is implemented in the background, so we are completely agnostic to how select counter works. We are just using it to select the counter from the state. We could have an arbitrarily complex object in the background. Select counter would work exactly like it would with the state just being the counter. So you might now say, hey, select counter is state specific, isn't it? So you're just having part of the state in your presentation component. And you're right, of course. What we have to do is we have to get select counter through a parameter so we can pass it in from outside as a configuration for our React component. But we will start with giving our counter parameter a much more fitting name. Because a button doesn't have counter, it has a text, right? So we will change the parameter name to text. And now we can obtain the text selector through our parameters by accessing it in our parameters. And because we have changed the parameter name in the container component, we also have to change it in our presentational component. And of course, we will have to pass our parameter in our React. I like to use a special namespace for all my selectors, which are called bindings. And we will implement the select text selector with our select counter selector. So now the select counter selector is passed to our presentation as the select text selector. But of course, I have made a small mistake here. So we will access the bindings and from the bindings in the parameters, we will access the text selector. So let's hop over to the browser and see if it still works. So if we click the button, the text changes. So the selection worked. So what did we gain? We cleanly separated the presentation layer from our state layer. And we're using a new layer that we are calling business logic that we implemented with Redux Saga. The presentation layer is only concerned with rendering the view and it uses React for that, while the state layer is only concerned with storing our state for the app. And the business logic layer wires the two layers together by providing the application-specific business logic. 